Here's how to show touches while screen recording on iPhone. But not just the touches, I'll show you how to record where you are hovering as well. Let's say you want to record a tutorial using a screen record and you want to show where the iPhone cursor is. You want to show where your cursor position is along with the touches like I'm showing you here. See, most people on YouTube are showing you the wrong way and demonstrating it using the assistive touch method. That method is okay, but it is very cumbersome to set up and use and very fiddly to record with. I'll quickly show you how to set this up later in the video and you can skip ahead using the chapters below to see. Assistive touch is great for people that need accessibility options, but I assume you want to use the cursor to do an iPhone screen record with cursor for a tutorial or social media purposes. And that's just what this method is dedicated for. All you'll need to do to set this up is a Bluetooth mouse. And if you don't have one, yet you want to produce perfect screen recording videos, I do recommend you go out and get one. In the meantime, hear me out so you can see just how easy this is. I only found out about this method about a week ago and lo and behold, I just happened to have a great Bluetooth mouse that I use with my iMac. It's the Logitech MX Master. I'm going to show you why this mouse is awesome for your setup later on. Let's get to the process though. First, unpair your mouse from your computer and that's probably just you going to the Bluetooth menu and telling it to forget the mouse device. Then go to iPhone settings, Bluetooth and scroll down to where it says other devices. You may need to activate the Bluetooth ping function of your mouse to get it to talk. Do a quick Google search to see how your mouse does this. The mouse should then pop up in your other devices section. Click it. This message may pop up asking for you to pair the device then just tap it. So now wiggle the mouse around and you should be able to see the cursor pop up on the screen. At this point, if it's not working, I've got a solution for you, which I'll tell you in just a moment. But for now, if you've learned something today, please hit that like button below. I really think we can get this video to at least 100 likes. Also subscribe while you're down there for more videos just like this. The thing I love about this mouse's Bluetooth connectivity is on the underside of it, there's a button that changes between three channels. So I actually have Channel one set to my iMac. When I change to channel two, it automatically connects to my iPad. And then when I change it to channel three, that's my iPhone. So there's no need for me to manually unpair each time I wanna connect it to a different device. Okay, troubleshooting. So if the mouse cursor hasn't showed up yet, here's the quick fix. Go to settings, accessibility, touch, then turn on assistive touch. You can then turn it off again here. If it doesn't work, try rebooting your device and restarting the Bluetooth connection process. While we're in this menu, you can customize buttons on the mouse. Go to devices and then select your mouse. Here, you can add a shortcut to your secondary button on your mouse. To enable it though, you'll see that the iPhone asks to enable assistive touch here. So now you can see with the right click, we have the app switcher working now. See in the bottom right, the assistive touch menu showed up? Well, we can make it so it doesn't display by going to assistive touch, scroll down and disable always show menu. You probably won't need to use the secondary button, so I just leave this off anyway. You can change the speed of the mouse and also the scrolling direction in settings, general, trackpad and mouse, and you can change the settings here. If you don't have a mouse, I'll show you the other method of displaying a cursor using the assistive touch method. I'll show you that in just a moment. But assuming your mouse is connected and your cursor is showing on screen, you're ready to start doing your screen recordings. So watch this video up here to make sure that you've optimized your screen recordings and have activated the microphone as well so you can record audio. Here's quickly how to set up the cursor using assistive touch. Go back to the assistive touch menu and make sure it is enabled. Come down to create new gesture. Here, just touch the screen and hit save. Give it a name, let's call it tap. Then press save. To then get the cursor on screen, tap the assistive touch menu here then go to custom and your custom gesture shows up here. Tap it. Now the cursor shows up and you can move it around similar to with the mouse. But I will say it's very unintuitive to use when you're doing a screen recording. The cursor just doesn't seem to behave the way you want it or expect it to. When you try it out, you'll see just what I mean. It also disappears when you don't want it to and you have to go into the menu each time you want to re-enable it. And if you want to use the iPhone like normal to skip to a different app or different screen, for example, you need to wait for the cursor to disappear before you can do that. So all in all, I can 100% guarantee that you'll absolutely love doing an iPhone screen record with the cursor using a Bluetooth mouse. Watch this video next to learn how to do screen record on iPhone with sound. This includes audio from your device as well as your spoken voice. With a Bluetooth mouse as well as audio recording, your iPhone screen records are gonna be next level. That one.